Nothing can prepare the visitor for the awe-inspiring immensity of the Grand Canyon. One of the world's great natural wonders. Peering down into this chasm is to look back in time. Over one billion years of geologic history. Nowhere else can such a span be seen at once and so graphically laid out. Most experience its awesome beauty from the rim, from the popular south rim, and from the remote north rim. But for the adventurer, there's a world to be explored in the Grand Canyon's wild country. An upside-down mountain is how the Grand Canyon has been described. It is a place that transcends simple descriptions. In the canyon, what appear to be small hills would be mountains anywhere else. Man-made wonders pale before the immensity of this great chasm. The passage of time here is not on a human scale, but on an Earth scale. Formations that rise and fall over countless cycles of the moon and sun. This is the canyon against which all other canyons are measured. In the southwest of the United States, along the northwestern corner of Arizona, the Grand Canyon straddles the Colorado River for 277 river miles. Most of the canyon is protected in Grand Canyon National Park. For thousands of years, Native Americans lived here. Rock art on the canyon walls show symbolic animals, human figures, and geometric designs created by ancient hunters and gatherers. The first inhabitants were descendants of Asian immigrants who arrived during the last ice age. Split twig animal figures made from willows are some 2,500 to 4,000 years old. The people who made them left little other evidence of their occupation of the area. Then, 1,500 years ago, came the ancestral Puebloan, who built rock structures that stand to this day. Searching for gold, Spanish explorers crossed the high desert and stood on the rim of the canyon. That was in 1540. They were not impressed. Members of Coronado's expedition thought the river was six feet across. Its scale was beyond their imagination. In 1776, Francisco Garces, a Franciscan priest, named the river Colorado, the color red in Spanish. In the thrust of Western expansion, the canyon was a great unknown, as foreign as the moon. Until John Wesley Powell, just over a century ago, ventured into the canyon. A major on General Ulysses S. Grant's staff Powell lost his arm in the terrible Battle of Shiloh, but he never lost his thirst for adventure. In 1869, 
he sought the secrets of the Grand Canyon. Nine men joined the great adventure. Despite setbacks, capsizing boats, loss of food and supplies, six survived and his account started a growing interest in this great chasm. People began to make the pilgrimage, and they still do. First set aside as a national monument in 1908, the park was established in 1919 and enlarged in 1975. Today, millions of people from around the globe experience this spectacular gallery of nature.